Welcome, Bout Betters. Man, this weekend's going to have lots of fights. I'm not going to be able to be in the casino to place all the bets on all the fights like I normally do. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more strategic this week. Like this fight with Emily Whitmire and Hannah Goldie. I like em Emily Whitmire's nickname Spitfire. Uh, close odds with Spitfire being the small favorite, but why? Uh, Whitmire is decent on the feet, but is actually a, a grapple heavy fighter. That's Hannah Goldie's game as well. And Whitmire was submitted her last time out in the first round due to her aggression, aggression while Hannah lost unanimously to Diana Belbita. Uh, but Belbita had a significant striking advantage as being a kickboxing champion. She really tore Hannah Goldie up. And Goldie only looked good at the very end of the fight when she was actually able to get her down and do land some strikes. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, this would be a grappler versus grappler match. The fight will stay on the feet if this happens, I think. Whitmire has a slight advantage as Goldie striking is awkward and ineffective at range, but she still packs a punch. Uh, so Goldie's going to want to initiate the grappling to control Emily. I think Emily with her uh, little re range advantage in terms of her reach and her legs and her kicking will force Goldie to actually implement her a, a grappling uh, game plan. Whitmire has excellent takedown defense and I think has uh, better submission wrestling skills than Goldie, but Gold Goldie's own willingness to engage in a grappling match is going to expose her possibly to Emily Whitmire's uh, Kryptonite, which is the submission. Uh, Goldie is yet to be subbed and she is also physically strong, so if she can overpower Whitmore, which I think is going to happen, I think she cruises to a decision, but I don't think she can sub uh, Emily that easily. While it's not a ton of value, I'm going to lean on this going the distance and Hannah Goldie uh, eking out a close decision. I like Emily's stand-up, but I like Hannah's uh, strength and durability more. If she trained and grilled her submission grappling, she could possibly submit Emily Whitmore and or get the TKO. Because I think there is going to be a point where Hannah is going to be able to use her strength uh, and, and her wrestling in some way to end up on top. And will Whitmer be able to reverse Hannah Goldie or counter grapple her in some way? I think she has the skills to do that, but I think the strength might win over here. So uh, I'm leaning on Hannah Goldie winning this out either by a decision or possibly even a finish. She is a dog right now. Happy to grab her at that plus 105 price. In fact, I would have loved her a little richer than that, but... Let me know where you guys are, are, are going to be placing bets on this fight. If you're going to parlay either of these fighters, where do you expect to finish? Leave something in the comments section. Like and subscribe. Have a good weekend. If I don't make any more of these, good luck. Make some money. Thank you very much.